In this video, I want to talk about how to configure your points of connection or water sources in a base station 3200. When you're setting up a point of connection for a site, typically you'll have things like pumps, master valves, and flow sensors. The 3200 allows you to manage each of these. For example, if you imagine a city water source, you might have a master valve and a flow meter. You'll assign each device to a point of connection inside the 3200, and then you'll assign that point of connection to a main line. To do this, you're going to turn your dial to the water source's dial position. First thing that you need to do is assign your bicoders to the master valve or pump slots. That's our first option. It's highlighted blue. I'm going to press enter. Once I get into that screen, you'll notice that the screen is the same as in the assigned dial position. In the left, I have a list of all of my bicoders that have not yet been assigned and are eligible to be assigned to a master valve. And then I have a master valve number here on the right that I can then go assign it to. To do this, I'm going to use my plus or minus key. In this case, let's go minus to get back to the bottom of my list and I'm going to choose the bicoder that I want to assign to my master valve and then I'm going to use my next or previous button to move up and down in the right hand column to choose the master valve. I want to assign this serial number to master valve 1. When they're both highlighted I follow the instructions on the screen and press enter to make the assignment. The controller will then make the assignment. Once I've assigned the bicoder to the master valve I can then press the back key to go in and set up my flow meter that may be associated with the, that point of connection. Connection. In this case, I just have one flow meter available. I'm going to use my plus key to highlight it blue. And then I'm going to press the next key. Uh, I need to enable it, telling the controller that I want to start reading flow from this flow bicoder. Change it to yes by pressing the plus key. I can then go set the K value and the offset, or I can set the pulses per gallon uh, appropriate for this flow meter and flow bicoder. Once you've got your flow meter set up, you can then press the back key to go down. And next, we're going to make assignments of our master valve decoders and our flow decoders to this point of connection. Assign devices to water sources. I'm going to press enter. You can see I've got eight points of connection here, which I can change by pressing the plus or minus key. I'm going to choose point of connection one. Here I'm going to assign my master valve one which is the serial number that I already assigned previously. It's a normally closed. I can also with my next and plus or minus keys change that to normally open. In this case I'm going to leave it at normally closed. And then I also have the option to assign this flow meter uh, to this point of connection as well. Another example might be where you have a pump station with a variable drive pump which uses a master valve and when the pump senses the master valve open and the pressure loss it then ramps the pump up to meet the flow demand. How you set this scenario up is you assign two of the devices, a master valve and a flow meter, to point of connection one. You then assign the pump to point of connection two. You'll notice that both points of connection have the same medium priority. The 3200 will use points of connection with the same priority at the same time when they're assigned to the same main line. If your site has multiple water sources, one of which is a primary water source and the other might be a backup water source, you can use the controller to automatic, automatically switch between water sources. For example, a cistern might have a pump and a flow sensor. You'll assign the, those two devices to point of connection one and give it a high priority because you want to use that water before having to switch to the city water source. You'll then assign that point of connection to your main line. Then the city water source also has probably a master valve and a flow meter which it gets assigned to point of connection to and has a lower priority than the other point of connection, in this case medium. The controller can then use point of connection priorities and empty conditions to automatically switch between the prioritized water sources. Once I've got the point of connection set up, I've got my devices assigned and then assigned to the point of connection, I can then go configure the settings that are specific to that point of connection, which I do by pressing the down arrow to highlight water source or point of connection setup and pressing enter. I can enable or disable this point of connection simply by using the next key and plus or minus to enable or disable it. 
I can set a priority for this point of connection. The base station 3200 will always use higher priority points of connection uh, before trying to use lower priority points of connection. If I have two points of connection assigned to one main line that have the same priority, it will use them together. I also have the ability to assign a design flow for this point of connection, or how many gallons do I expect to use from this point of connection. I can do that with the plus or minus key. I can also set a high flow limit while the controller is running zones. What's the maximum amount of gallons the controller will allow to see? And if I exceed that limit, do I want to shut down or not? In this case, let's change it to yes. If I have unscheduled flow or when the controller is not actively running a program or any zones, do you want to allow any gallons to run through? You'd use this if you had a hose bib, for example, or a quick coupler that you wanted to allow uh, some gallons to be available for someone to use without triggering any alarms. I can also decide if I want to shut the point of connection down if that unscheduled flow limit is exceeded. The base station 3200 also gives me the option to configure a total gallons budget for this point of connection. The controller will then monitor the water that is being used through this point of connection and if it is exceeded I can set this box to yes and the controller will stop using that point of connection. It operates on a monthly basis operating from day one to day 30 or day 31 depending on the month. The intelligent water rationing feature in the base station 3200 will basically take your monthly budget gallons, let's use 30,000 gallons as an example, and ration those gallons out across every day in the month. In a 30 day month it'll take 30,000 gallons and give each day 1,000 gallons. It will then allow the controller to water and only use 1,000 gallons from that point of connection for that day. If the controller completes its watering and still has gallons that it hasn't used, those rollover gallons are put into a bank and then the, the controller on the next day will allow the controller to water up to a thousand gallons and then see if there's any gallons in the bank if it needs them and then use up to the amount of gallons that are left in the bank. Also on this screen you'll notice the flow meter and the master valve that I'm using are listed here and this POC empty is a setting that I'll explain in just a second. Once I've set all of my settings for the point of connection I'm going to press the back key and then I'm going to go and uh, select my POC empty conditions. The point of connection empty condition allows you to use a moisture sensor or an event bicoder that's connected to a switch to tell a, the controller when the point of connection is empty. You have your point of connections. In this case we're going to select point of connection 1. I'm going to use my next key and then my plus key to select the moisture sensor in this case that I want to use. Once I've selected the moisture sensor I'm going to press next and I'm going to use my plus key to enable the setting and then say empty is less than 25 percent. That will tell the controller that if the moisture sensor has a reading of less than 25 percent it knows that, that point of connection is out of water and it will stop using that point of connection. The event bicoder will allow you to hook up to any switch type device such as a float switch and set that up as an empty condition when open or closed. The controller also has a wait time that you can set if you want to allow for fill. The controller will wait until the empty condition is removed and the allotted wait time before it will allow that point of connection to resume watering.